it's Desiree, the Tupperware Lady. So tonight we are fixing up one of my favorite dishes and easiest of all is spaghetti um, with our stack cooker, as you can see. So our stack cooker has so many features, it's amazing. It comes in many different parts. So you've got kind of a large, this is a three quart bowl, okay? It comes with a one and three fourths quart bowl that you can stack on top. It comes with a colander, yeah, a cone, and lid, plus two seals that come with it as well. So tonight we're going to stack up our meal, and we're going to start with the smaller colander and the smaller bowl. And we're going to uh, put our hamburger meat in here and go ahead and crumble that up in here and get some hamburger meat there's kind of crumbled up in there and um, so when you cook meat in the stack cooker it is six minutes per pound and so we're going to do just about a little over a pound so we're going to do about six minutes we'll do three minutes I will stir it up and cook another three minutes okay since it's going to be spaghetti, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning to give it a little flavor there. Let me stick that in there real good. All right. Okay, so I'm going to have the colander, the smaller bowl, and the lid. And I'm going to put it in the microwave for um, six minutes. Check it at three, stir it up, and then three more. While that is cooking, we're going to go ahead and add at least two cups of water to the big stack cooker part here. We have some farfalla noodles, also known as soy Okay, let's stir that up a little bit. Okay. Two more cups of water. little bit of salt, just a pinch, and stir that around. Okay. So when cooking the noodles, stick with the cooking times on the package. Um, these noodles are 12 to 14 minutes, so I'm going to start with 12, and depending on how you like your noodles, if you like them al dente or a little more soft, you can add additional minutes. Be sure when cooking pasta in this part that you leave the lid off. Okay, so we have now browned our meat. Um, I did the full six minutes, stirred it, and chopped it up about three minutes till, and then did another three minutes. So I'm taking the lid off. Just want to show you guys. Look at that, completely browned. And um, if you go a little bit long, you kind of get a little crispy too, if you like crispy meat um, in there. Uh, what I really want to show you is what's underneath the meat. I, can you guys see that? How gross does that look? See how that, let's see, let me go this way. You can see all that liquid, there you go. Now I know when I cook meat in the frying pan, I don't get that much juice. Um, the meat absorbs some of it. But if you're really looking to eat leaner, um, definitely do it this way. Uh, as my husband would say, I took all the good stuff out, but it's definitely much better for us. While, um, that was done cooking. We put in the noodles for, we did the full um, uh, nine minutes out of 10. And I kept checking it. Um, it really depends on the wattage of your microwave. Um, you know, the higher it is, the shorter the time's gonna take. And sometimes you have to reduce your power a little bit if it's cooking it too fast. But we have our noodles done. So with that, I'm going to drain the noodles actually back over here drain the noodles into here just do it like that okay we drained our noodles they're so pretty noodles we're going to add our hamburger meat Let's set that to the side now we're going to add our spaghetti sauce 
Okay, just good old jar of spaghetti. Make your own, however you like. Add whatever seasonings you like. Okay. I'm going to add a little extra of our Italian seasoning because we like it so much. Okay. We're going to stir that up and put it back in the microwave for just two to three minutes to heat the sauce all the way through. Okay, so we um, put the sauce and the noodles and the hamburger meat together and just heated it through for about two to three minutes. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys our final product of dinner. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. And there you go. Can you guys see that? And dinner is served. And you can put some... Um, Parmesan cheese or any fixins. Maybe you want some garlic bread. Um, there are a million different recipes with a stack cooker. I can't wait to show you some more. And thanks for watching.